I was born in Glasgow, Scotland, and uh, my father is originally from Iraq, and my mother is a Palestinian. I uh, grew up a bit in um, uh, the UK and then in Iraq and graduated high school from the Baghdad um, High School. I wanted to study modern Arab art, which I was consistently told doesn't exist. So I forged my own way through this. Nada is definitely someone who walks into a room and lights it up. Her energy, her enthusiasm, the passion with which she talks about things is really, really, really infectious. I mean, it's not often that someone gets to create an entire field of academic study. Not a really spearheaded that effort through her publication and research, including her first book, um, that really became the core text for any school that wanted to offer such a class. In fact, I think UNT was the first university um, in the world, I would say, who taught modern Arab arts. I actually went to Baghdad in June um, uh, 2003 and discovered that, you know, the Museum of Modern Art was, uh, was uh, destroyed. In order to do the work to recover and document the uh, modern and contemporary Iraqi art that was um, stolen during the conflict, she received a prestigious National Endowment for the Humanities Digital Startup Grant um, to create the Modern Art Iraq Archive. You know, loss of archives is actually erasure of memories. And so, in a way, I'm helping um, the nation of Iraq to maintain its memories, but I am also actually helping the collective memory of humanity to actually be able to do all this original research, talk to the artist, look at the artifact, and try to figure out Here's what was happening politically, economically, um, culturally, and here's what was being produced. What is this saying? Because art in general really reveals um, what society doesn't really understand yet. The amazing thing for her students is that they are helping to define what the field is, and they are creating as they are researching. There are other students, there's more interest. There are graduate students, there are colleagues who would like to get into this area with no support. So forming the Association for Modern Contemporary Art of the Arab World, Iran and Turkey, ABCA, was a necessity to create a forum that will gather all of those who are interested. She is showing us that the world is bigger than what is local to us. In educating our students to think about ways of understanding global learning rather than isolationist, localized thinking is tremendously important. She is opening it up to other scholars to start thinking of the possibility of an art history that is not Eurocentric. She was featured on a list of eight art historians every art historian should know. This is very significant because uh, the people she's on the list with include one of the women who founded the whole field of feminist art history, another who really leads the field within the study of the art of people of color. The work that Nada does is essential in terms of bridging certain gaps or changing certain perceptions. It is about discovering things. It's about finding finding out things, making the connections. Why are we where we are? Or how did we get to this point? The best way of figuring that out is through looking at the beautiful product that humanity has produced through the ages. Art is the best that humanity does.